Art Burgess was uh, the new director at the Y, and I ran into him on the street. And because I had done gymnastics before, he says, Ed, have you been to the new Y? And I said, no. So he said, come on, you wanna, I'll take you around. And anyway, two days later, he phones me. And he says, Ed, Ed. I said, who is this? He says, it's Art, I've separated my ribs. Can you help me? What do you want? Help take my wrestling class over. I said, I know nothing about wrestling. Oh, you can do it. So I, that was in uh, uh, October of 64. Art never came back downstairs. And that was it. That was the beginning of my wrestling career. Somebody who's given more to wrestling in British Columbia than uh, anybody could ever be expected to do. Who's still coaching in their early 80s, over 50 years of, of active coaching, not just administration, but active coaching. When I was a kid, I used to box, and it's the training is what it's important. The training, the learning, the skills, just like gymnastics. It was a camaraderie that you developed with the kids that were on your, on your team. We know you're always going to be in the corner. In fact, you might be in the corner for one of our athletes because you don't know he's one of our athletes, and uh, that goes with being 81, Ed. That's a gang, yeah. The kids were, they were so good to me. Some of them were single-parent family. And two of them, when they talk to me on the phone, they say, hey, Dad, you're my dad. I love you. Hey, can't beat that. <laughs>